Welcome, Just Kidding Party, to What's in My Car. This is Brunhilde. That's not even her name, I just made it up right now. <laughs> yeah, but as you can see, with the condition of the car, there's a lot of bugs on it it's because I just came from Northern California, uh, Sacramento specifically, hometown, not with six. What's the, a lot of bugs going down there on the five, so it's all tore up right now, but. I am fat, and fat people cannot fit in small cars. Before this, I had a Toyota Camry, and that Camry was, you know, it was a great car. I gave that to my parents, so I didn't even use it as a down payment for this car. I just decided to give it to them, give them something to drive around. This car specifically, I needed it because I'm a big guy. I'm like 6'1", 230 some odd pounds, and it just fits me better. And also, too, because um, when I was doing short films and I was shooting a lot, I needed a lot of equipment space because uh, you want to do my own skits, I don't, I don't have a full crew. Like, most of the time, it's just me, a producer, maybe a couple hands, and then, uh, and then the shooter. And after that, it's just, we kind of uh, do everything on our own. So I needed a little trunk space so I could put the camera, the, the dollies, tripods, whatever, and stuff like that, the lights. And so I got this Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Edition. The great thing about this car is that it's huge. And if you hit me, you might die. So <laughs> I dare you to hit me. I will run your bitch ass over. There was a couple options I decided that I didn't want to get. I didn't want to get the sunroof and the front sensors. I didn't think it was necessary. And honestly, if you need front sensors to park your car, you are a fucking moron. Use your eyes. And these right here are the keys to my vehicle. If you guys saw my wallet thing or if you haven't seen it yet, uh, this is, uh, I keep everything very clean. Uh, key fob here, everything for the house, the mail key. I have this uh, Mickey Mouse Disney keychain. I didn't buy it, somebody bought it for me. And if I don't have it on my keychain, should be very mad. This is a key fob. And mind you, I'm used to like opening cars with an actual key where you stick it in and you turn it. This car doesn't even have that. You just like touch it on the handle and the car automatically unlocks, which is way fancier than I really would expect. Like I'm used to like basic shit. So anyways, let's go check out the inside of my vehicle. Well, welcome to the inside of my car. This is what a Jeep Grand Cherokee looks like. Now, as you can see right here, we have our navigation screen. I believe it's roughly about 5.6 inches. I'm just making that number up. I actually don't know. Um, air conditioner vents, all other stuff. Every uh, This is a start to stop um, button thing. So you, once again, you don't have to actually use your key. You just have it in the vicinity and then you press this fucking button, which is Amazing to me, by the way. Uh, the annoying thing about this fucking car is that it actually has voice recognition, so you could actually do voice commands. Problem is, it doesn't fucking recognize half the shit that I'm saying. So, for example, if I want to go to the airport, it goes, say your point of destination. I say LAX. Cannot be found. You can't fucking find LAX. It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Other than that, it's a pretty decent car. Uh, everything's kind of like a champagne color on the inside. Uh, it is... Um, four-wheel drive so if I want to go to the mountains if I'm going in the snow and stuff like that this is the way to go garage door opener things right over here I always make sure I have like a phone holder in my car I like to use my phone for the Navi so I use it over here and plus when I when I take calls it's got, I can easy, easily see it over here too so we of course need that iPhone US Bizzle because us busy people always be on our phone taking calls making business moves so once again charge it up right here blah 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 uh, has a USB attachment here if you want to actually hook up the phone to the technology and shit like that. It has a micro SD, I mean, it has an SD card slot, an audio jack. If you want to look at what's inside my car, I don't actually know. I have uh, protein bars. <laughs> I don't even know why. I didn't know it was in here, but I have uh, Quest bars in here, so <laughs> nice. This grape soda pen, if you guys know what Disney movie this is from. You're a G. This was actually made for, made for me by a fan. I wonder if she's looking at this video right now, but she made me this and uh, I thought it was kind of cool. She told me that um, you know my videos helped her out a lot and uh, I thought it was very meaningful, so I keep it with me. Tight. Thank you very much. The fuck is this? Oh, I got my oil changed. Oh, don't ever go to these Korean people, by the way. They fucked up my car when they uh, changed my oil. Uh, got an empty bottle of gum. This album by Z Woods. If y'all don't know who Z Woods is, he's a very close friend of mine. He is a Swedish musician. Yes, uh, r and I freaking love this album of his that he dropped. You guys can check it out on iTunes. Z Woods, Z-W-O-O-D-S. David Choi dropped an album, and you know I keeps it close to me too. David Choi right here, dope as hell, very emotional. I actually listened, I actually bought his album on iTunes and it, it made me cry. <laughs> and of course, just in case you get caught in the snow, you need a Miranda bag of almonds. It's probably like eight months old. It's still good. No, it's not. Audio cord jack thing here. GoPro mount in case I need to GoPro my life. It just, wow, that tastes horrendous. Thank you. 
It tastes like sawdust. I love this lotion. Um, I don't know. Somebody gave this to me once again. <laughs> if you notice, there's a lot of shit that people give me. This is the cutest shit I've ever seen on earth. It's a lotion bottle, but it got feet. Yeah, and it smells fantastic. Oh, in here there's absolutely nothing. It's just all the stock stuff that came in with the car. Um, I usually don't use this compartment because I'm not ever in the passenger seat, so why would I do that? Oh, my insurance stuff is in there, so just in case a cop pulls me over and he assumes that I don't have insurance, I do have insurance. I'm not ghetto like that. Oh, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the trunk now. Okie dokie. <laughs> so I, I just dropped off a whole bunch of kicks uh, at a store to sell them. Um, these shoes, they said that I would get a better deal elsewhere, um, the better than, than, than them selling it because they're not, they're, they're dead stock, but I actually threw away the boxes because I assumed that I was going to wear it. <sighs> but I did not. So these right here, of course, if y'all don't know, are those Tora Red Spizikes, my friends, which are dope as hell. I enjoyed these shoes for a bit, but uh, I'm kind of getting out of like the bulky, kind of like high top shoes. Now I'm wearing um, more low tops and runners and stuff like that. As you can see by these kicks, my uh, <laughs> Adidas, you know what I'm saying right here. <clears throat> they kind of look like Y3s. Um, we got these Cement Spizikes. I actually dig these kicks a lot. Uh, all the original stuff is on it, the tags and stuff like that. As you can see, I even got this. Baula. But uh, once again, not really into the more bulky shoes anymore. Got these quick fire hyperposites, the Statue of Liberties, which are really dope. They have that mint green color. Love this shit, dead stock, but once again, I threw away the box because I assumed that I was going to wear these, but I did not. I'm not sure if I want to sell these because I actually like these a lot. And of course, we got ourselves some LBJs, the Dolphins. LeBrons, I mean, for some reason, people don't like these LeBrons as much because they're a little bulky, but honestly, for basketball shoes, um, they're probably one of the most comfortable. I know they don't have a lot of give in them, like in the sense of it's a little bit heavy. So if you want to be someone who, uh, I guess, depending if you're like a point guard, point guard and you want to move a lot faster, these obviously aren't the ones for you. But if you move like me, like a boss, like a LeBron, then you need something to stomp in like this right here. Next up, we got these pants. <laughs> Which I don't even know why these are in here. I don't even know I own a pair of these pants. These are nice They're still fresh And of course we got oh my god. I gotta show you guys this so whenever I go to Costco You know how they uh, just give you a bunch of random boxes to stuff your shit in fuck that You don't need that shit. What you need to do is get one of these right here now over here Because you don't want to have all those boxes that you want to throw away. You just unfold this Bam Compartment to put all your stuff in here and I know it looks a little small But this can stuff so much shit in here on top of that There's like side compartments for like juice or if you have like bananas pineapples peaches oranges scrams waters eggs. <laughs> And then in the front you have compartments for like bananas scram But this is actually one of my most useful things that I have in the car And also if you want to put the groceries back in it kind of has handles like a duffel bag or it has handles on the side so you can take it in. I have two of these. And paper towels in case somebody throw up in my car and I gotta beat their ass. So, bang, bang, boom. Oh, and of course, I have a random like sheet in case I have to haul stuff that might damage certain things. So I'll bring this along too. You know me, safety first. That's about it, the rest is garbage. Oh, and of course, you always need an extra pair of socks just in case somebody pees on your feet. Right here, my friends, is the cover top for your car. In case people want to peep in and see what you have, you got to make sure you cover your shit in case people rob you. Remember kids, always be ready in case people rob you. I've been robbed about 17 times and I have lost everything. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, check this out everybody. You know on these new cars and shit, I know for a lot of you guys, you're like, oh, I've had this on my other cars. Not me, because I was fucking broke my whole life. Watch this shit. Hit that button, bitch. Magic. Magic. Well, thank you guys for watching Just King Party and the whole what's my car shit going down. But uh, if you guys want to watch other people's uh, Just Kidding Party shit for what's in the car, go ahead and check that out. And I will see y'all next time. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>